everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this really beautiful scarf. It is a one row repeat so it's super super simple and I whipped this up in just two evenings and it looks really beautiful. So I'm absolutely loving it in this yarn as well and you can see it's a really delicate beautiful stitch. You can use absolutely any yarn that you like and corresponding recommended hook size. I used a 4mm hook for this and the Riot DK yarn. I've just used one ball of it and this is a really decent sized looped infinity scarf. Obviously you can leave it as a flat scarf but you might need more yarn if that was what you were choosing to do but the one ball was plenty for me to make this infinity scarf. So for this one I'm going to be using this Kinko Riot DK. I'm only going to use one ball and whatever I get out of that one ball will be what my scarf is. And this is the shade Water Lily. You can just see there, this is Water Lily. And it's a 100 gram ball and I'm going to be using a 4 millimeter hook but it's just got some really nice shades in this one. So you're going to start with your slip knot on your hook. Obviously whatever yarn you use, just use whatever hook size is recommended for that particular yarn. So your foundation chain, you can do it any width you want. Obviously for this specific tutorial, I'm going to be doing a set amount of stitches, but if you want it to be any bigger or any smaller, you would just do a multiple of seven and then plus four. So to chain, you want to yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, three, four. So I've done a chain of 28, which is my multiple of seven. And then, like I said, we will add an additional four chains to the end of that. So 28 plus four, so I've got a total here of 32 stitches. So remember, for the entirety of this project, I am using UK terminology, but I will always give the US equivalent as well. But just bear that in mind as we go forwards. So into the fourth chain from the hook, so you never count the one on your hook, we've got one, two, three, and this is our fourth, and we're going to treble into that chain. So UK treble in the US, this is double. So yarn over, insert into that fourth chain, yarn over and pull up, and you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You are then going to skip two chains, so you're going to skip one and two and then into this third chain we're going to work a group of stitches so it's sort of like a shell so we're going to do two trebles so yarn over skip two stitches and into the third you'll put two trebles so that's one and back into that same chain you'll do a second chain two and then back into that same chain that you've just worked those two trebles into, you're going to do two more trebles. So one and two. So you've got two trebles, chain two, two trebles, all in that same chain. You're going to skip two chains again, so skip one and two, and into the third, you will put a treble. and then you'll put a treble into the next chain as well. So the chain right next to the one you've just worked into, you'll do a treble. And then again, skip two chains, and in the third, you'll work your group of stitches, so your two trebles, that's one, two, chain two, and back in that same chain, two more trebles. So one and two. And then again, skip two stitches and then one treble into each of the next two chains. So skip two and then one treble and then one treble into that next chain as well. And you'll just repeat that all the way along until you get to the end. And that is where I will meet you in just a second. 
So as you get towards the end you shall do your group of stitches and then you should have four chains left and then you will skip two chains and then one treble into the final two chains. So skip two and then one treble into the last two chains. And that is how your foundation row should look. So we're going to turn our work and then insert your hook into this very first stitch. Go through the whole of the stitch making sure to catch both loops. Yarn over and pull up and yarn over pull through both. And then this stitch now has got two vertical parts to the stitch. You want to go behind the one that is closest to your working end. And then again yarn over and pull up yarn over, pull through both and that just gives us a treble height stitch but without doing a chain so it means we don't get any big gaps at the ends. And we're just going to repeat this row over and over again until your scarf is as long as you want it to be. So you've got your treble for the first treble here, that's what we've just done. So you're going to put one treble into the top of the next treble, so remember US doubles for the whole of this project. So that was two trebles into the top of the two trebles from the row below. And then you're going to work in your group. So in the middle of your group you have got a chain two space. So into that chain two space, so straight into that chain two, you will put two trebles, chain two, and two trebles, all in that chain two space from the row below. And then you will put one treble into each of those trebles from the row below. So skip those two trebles that are the other part of your group and work into the two trebles that are next to each other. And just do one treble in each of those. So it's such a simple but pretty pattern to work up. And then again in your chain two space you'll do your two trebles chain two and two trebles back in that chain two space and you'll just work that all the way along until you get to the other end of your work which is where I will meet you in just a second. So I've worked my last group into that final chain two space and then I've got these two trebles from the row below so you'll skip the final two of your group and then you'll put one treble into each of those final two trebles. So one, and two. So that is how you should be looking at this point. So as I say, you will just repeat that row over and over again until your scarf is as long as you want it to be and then it's completely up to you whether you want to turn it into an infinity scarf or if you just want to leave it flat and add some fringe or tassels or pom-poms whatever you want to do with it but I will meet you back in just a second just to finish off. So I've completed as many rows as I can get out of my yarn I've literally just got this little tiny bit left so I'm going to be joining mine to turn it into a looped infinity scarf Okay, so I'm going to start by adding that straight edge. So you would do this whether you wanted to finish it as a normal scarf, but also if you wanted to do as a looped infinity scarf. I like to straighten off the top end of the row and then attach them together. So you will start your row as normal with your treble height stitch and your treble into that next stitch as normal chain two and then into that chain two space do a UK double or a US this is your single so yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through both chain two and then again work one treble into each of those trebles as normal chain two double crochet so UK double crochet into that chain two space and work that all the way along and then finish with your chain two and then your final two trebles at the end of your row 
just as you normally would. And you can see that has given us a straight edge now. So if you're leaving this just as a normal scarf, you can add your fringe or some tassels, pom-poms, whatever you like, but you've got a nice straight edge now. Now, when it comes to joining for making your looped infinity scarf, it is completely up to you whether you want to just go along and do a row of double crochets to join your two ends together, or you can snip off and then just whip stitch them together with a darning needle. So personally I like to crochet mine together rather than just sewing it together. So I'm going to make my loop now. So I'm going to lay my scarf nice and flat and bring my two ends together like so. So I've got my two ends now and it is nice and flat all the way along. And then I'm literally just going to slip stitch all the way along. So I'm going to insert my hook through that very first stitch and also through the corresponding stitch on the back of the scarf and slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both. And then again through the next stitch and the corresponding stitch on the back slip stitch and you're just going to work all the way along doing your slip stitches through each stitch. Like I say you're not going to want to do it too tight because otherwise your work will pull up and you don't really want that to happen. So try and keep them relatively loose. So if you just carry on with your slip stitches all the way along. So I've worked my slip stitches all the way along. I'm going to chain one I'm going to snip off, leaving a decent tail for weaving in my ends and pull that tail out, tighten up and then I've just got these two ends to weave in now. So that has given us a nice secure join for our work. So there I've got my completed infinity scarf and I'm really happy with how that's turned out. I really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have then please remember to give the video a thumbs up and also to subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that little bell icon so that you can keep up to date with all of my videos when they go live. But I will see you again really soon. Bye for now.